Greetings everyone! In today's video we are going to create an image that is usually taken with an expensive full frame camera and an expensive lens. We are going to change the background of the image to blurry to create the so called bokeh. The blur effect is available in guided mode, let's open it. And then open the blur tools. As you can see the blur effect immediately changes the background. We can use the first option, the circle, to use the circle mask. Set the position of the mask and uncheck the show mask checkbox to turn off the displaying the circle mask. In that way you can see the entire changed image without the disrupting circle. The intensity of the blur effect can be adjusted with the blur degree slider. From the blur type list you can select the texture or shape you want to use as an effect. Select the bokeh type. There are three different shapes here. The circle, the cross, the earth and the star shape. Select the circle. If you look at the applied effect you can see that the circle mask is not the best in this case. The circle mask is better for circular objects. So, open the brush mask, ignore the changes, and now select the person segmentation tool. The algorithm will find the child in the image and will use this as a mask. Select a bokeh type from the blur type list box. Now select the circus shape and set the effect strength using the blur degree slider. You can use the brush to adjust the automatically selected mask. You can delete parts where you don't want the blur effect to be. When you press the Alt key the restore effect brush is activated as shown by the plus sign on the cursor. When you release the Alt key, the brush changes the reshboot brush again. This eliminates the need to permanently engage the brush while masking. It is enough to hold or release the Alt key and use the mouse. Open the library, save the changes and select the original and the modified image by pressing and holding down the control key and click on side by side comparison icon to see the difference between the original and the modified images. You can see the big difference in background bokeh. I think the big part above the child's head is completely unnecessary. Let's crop the image, switch to the adjustment mode Select Crop and Straighten tool, click on Crop icon and set the ratio to 3 to 2 from the Aspect Ratio list box, set the Crop area and hit Done to finish the crop. Now our modified picture looks much better. Finally, we enhance the picture using the bokeh effect, highlighting the main subject of the picture. Thanks for watching, if you liked this video make sure to subscribe for more and see you in the next video, bye!